Jonathan Proietti is organizing evangelism groups across Latin America for the Global Network of Evangelists, or the Nueva Generación de Evangelistas, as it's known in Latin America. His father worked with Luis Palau for many decades, and now Jonathan is continuing the family legacy by working with Andrew Palau. Today, we talk about what God is doing through Spanish speaking evangelists. Jesus said, Go into all the world and preach the gospel. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Welcome to the Evangelism Podcast with Dr. Daniel King, where Daniel interviews full time evangelists, pastors, missionaries, and normal everyday Christians to discover how they share their faith, their powerful testimonies, and amazing stories that will inspire you to reach people with the good news. And now, here's your host, missionary and evangelist, Daniel King. Welcome to the Evangelism Podcast. I'm Daniel King, and I'm excited about telling people about Jesus. Today, I have a very special guest with me, Jonathan Proietti. Yes. And he is the Latin American coordinator, director yeah. of the Global Network of Evangelists. I am. The, the group of evangelists, which is under the ministry of Luis Palau. And I have the honor of serving on the cabinet of the Global Network of Evangelists along with you. And uh, I've been hearing so much about what God is doing here in Latin America among the evangelists. Thank you so much for being on the Evangelism Podcast. And, and tell me, what is God doing? Daniel, thank you for having me. Thank you for this time. It's an honor to share here. And yes, we are, by the grace of God, serving the Lord, uh, directing the Latin, Latin expression of the Global Network of Evangelists. You know, God gave Luis a vision to serve uh, all the evangelists after him. Uh, we call we call the, the Latin expression, the Spanish expression, uh, Nueva Generación de Evangelistas, which the translates uh, New Generation of Evangelists. This is the same, but we changed the name. And uh, the Lord gave Luis that vision and, and he gave us uh, the way of doing, like the model. And it's to raise a network of evangelists in each city um, coordinated by the local team. So thanks uh, to the grace of God through the Luis ministry and my dad's ministry for many, many years, faithfulness, uh, 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 confidence and all that, we know people. So we can go to them and say, hey, this is the vision. This is this is what God gave us. And we we want to serve you. Uh, what do you think to the you know the alliances heads and, and leaders and stuff? So they, they they embrace the vision and they help us find faithful people that evangelists, pastors, leaders that can take this vision and just serve in their country because they know the culture, they know the people, they love their people more than we might might, might love them. They they know them. So who who would be best to serve them than them? So we invest in the local team. We coach them, we guide them, and, and, and we help them serve their evangelists. So that's what we do. We affirm, we equip, we, we mobilize, and we identify evangelists all over the Hispanic world in that way. And you are perfect for this. You are from Argentina. I am. And of course, uh, Brother Luis Palau was from Argentina. And today, we had the opportunity to go to a historic spot. Yes. It Uh, We are in Bogota, Colombia, and so we went to the presidential palace, we we saw the the Senate House, and right in front of the Senate House, there are some steps, and then there's a a big plaza there, and it was in that place that Luis Palau did his first big crusade back in 1966. And I'm a student of evangelism, of the history of evangelism. In fact, I did my my doctorate and we studied some of the history. And I remember seeing the picture of Luis Palau standing on those steps and he's got his, <laughs> he's out there yeah. preaching the gospel. He's young yes. and he's preaching. And, and uh, so, but from right here in Bogota, Colombia, mm-hmm. the ministry of Luis Palau went all over the world. In, in Latin America, of course, everyone knows who he is and and he's done crusades in almost 
and festivals in almost every yeah, yeah, yeah. city all over Latin America. And your father yeah. actually was connected with him, very instrumental in helping to organize the events here. Yeah. So t t talk to me a little bit about the partnership between your father and brother Palau. Well, they were intimate friends, uh, I mean, best friends. They were that good friends that they went to be with the Lord in the same year, with six months different, you know, in 2021. So yeah, we were here, uh, everything started for Luis uh, in 66. Can you imagine what a time they're having in heaven? Yeah, right? <laughs> I, I mean, they, I'm sure they're sharing stories. Yeah. They are so excited. You know, <laughs> Just the, every... the only thing you can't do in heaven is evangelism. So they did. <laughs> they have no job. This is yeah, the real retirement. They a whole well, Live to evangelize what are they doing now, right? Who are they bargaining? Um, so Andrew Palau was born here too in 66. And uh, 52 years later, 2018, Andrew Palau and a servant, because I interpreted for him in all his uh, Hispanic events, were in that same plaza preaching the gospel uh, wow. to a lot of people. So that that is history and that is amazing and that is a privilege. But coming to my dad, he joined the team in 78 when, when the Luis Palau Evangelistic Association formally started like that. So we can say that uh, Luis and my dad were together for you know, when everything started formally for them from the very, very beginning. And they were so good, uh, great friends. My dad directed the ministry f for the Latin world. And, and, and when I was born, uh, I mean, I, I, I was born breathing evangelism in my house. You were born into the ministry. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, you know, a Christian and the little PA, Luis Palau Association. So I came formally and full time and officially to the team in 2018. I'm an accountant and, and I had a, you know, uh, work on that, but always in the ministry and always wanted to serve the Lord full time. And I didn't never imagine that this was going to be the, the, the call and, and, and how he would do it. So, so yeah, it, it's, it's 43 years together, my dad and Luis, uh, just, you know. That's one of the things I so love about the Palau ministry is this legacy of ministry that extends across decades. And the longer I'm in ministry, the more I think that God honors faithfulness. Yes. And Brother Palau was faithful, your father was faithful, and then God is also a generational God. He's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yep. And so it's so neat now to see Kevin Palau and Andrew Palau taking up the baton, right. and you also taking up the baton <laughs> here in Latin America. What a privilege yes. to continue to serve the Lord for the second generation. Yes. And I believe for many generations yes. to come, we yes. will see God do amazing things. It's a privilege. It's a privilege. There are pictures of my, you know, my, my dad and Luis and me and Andrew, and, and they say, oh, you know, you're taking on your dad's steps. It, that's a lot, you know. I, I sometimes can't just get what that means. And, and I'm just praying the Lord and just saying, Lord, what do you want? I mean, make me humble, make me all, all the time look for you and just, you know, uh, have that intimacy with you to all the time understand what I have to do and, and, and how to do it. But, but yes, I mean, the future looks amazing and, and that's a privilege. I mean, they say that God has no grandchildren. He only has children. Mm -hmm. And so every generation has to choose to serve God for our generation. Yeah. And our generation has so many needs. Things are changing a lot here in Latin America right now. Yeah. And what you're trying to do is to raise up a new generation of evangelists. Yeah. I, I mean, we, we need many different expressions yeah. of evangelism yeah. in order to, to reach people in this day. Mm -hmm. and, and so let's talk more about like what you're doing to, to raise up evangelists. Mm -hmm. We're here in Colombia. Mm -hmm. You've gathered together people that have a, a gifting of evangelism. How, how many people approximately here in Colombia? That we know we are counting like 200 and, and plus, 200 plus. And so these are people that, they have a, a calling, a gift yeah. for evangelism on their heart. And, and sometimes evangelists, they, they, they have a heart for evangelism, but they don't quite fit into the church. The church doesn't quite understand them. And, and they need the fellowship. Yes. And, and that, 
And I think God is actually raising up Latin America in a new way, mm -hmm. that Latin America is going to send out missionaries. Mm -hmm. God told me years ago that the, the mission field shall become a mission force. Years ago, Latin in America was considered a mission field, but now there are stronger churches here than sometimes we in are, America. We're we are experiencing that already. We were last year. We were in Manchester in the UK, and and the and we gathered the Latins there. There were a few, not much, and they were saying, the Lord called us to the to the to the land that first came to us and gave us the gospel. So we are coming back to just, you know, to do with them what they did with us. And that was amazing. I was I was crying, you know. It was a bunch of Latin people from different countries here. And that's happening. That's 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 happening. We are I love that. The Latin field is now Latin for um the, uh, the mission field, the mission field shall become a, a mission, mission force. force. Uh it's it's happening. I mean the Lord by his grace is using us to to enlighten the rest of the nations and just to to bring them back to what it was, uh their the their, their their ancient glory. So so it I'm seeing it. My my generation is 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 witnessing it. Now the Palau team just did a great event in Costa Rica. Yeah. Tell me about that what happened in Costa Rica that, that was amazing I mean you can just see the pictures uh, I mean thousands of people the church in Costa Rica is really unified I mean we we got surprised of how they they worked and, and how they served and came together and that's pretty much the festival means I mean we don't go if, if we don't receive an invitation and the invitation needs to uh, be reflected in unity because if not there's no festival because there's no unity and that's the key that's the, the secret song Sausage of, of, of salvation, you know, uh, John 17, Jesus asking for unity, but he's not asking for unity. He's asking for the lost. And, you know, the unity is, is, a, is a mean to, to salvation. And, and that's what we do in festivals in Costa Rica. It was amazing. Be Buenos Aires was in November last year. We Yeah, tell me about that. that that's your hometown. Yeah, and, and that was the first festival without dad, my dad, and without Luis. Wow. And after pandemic. So it was the first one in so many, many, were many Were you a little aspects. nervous? Oh. A little... <laughs> <laughs> we were like, this Jesus, mystical. please help yeah, us. Yeah. <laughs> Bring them, Lord. Uh, breathe them. From... Yeah. yeah. And, and it was a blast. It was, it was amazing. And we, 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 we saw a lot of, of harvest. Yeah. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. That's he, awesome. He, he's, it was, a, it was a, a sign of, you know, supporting, I mean, from him. You know, without Luis, without my dad, in Argentina, the leadership there is, is a great, but, you know, is, is complicated in some ways. You understand what I mean? Uh, I'm from there, so. Uh, so it was, it was, so the Lord, uh, with a lot of other things, is saying, you know, I'm here, this is not, this is not a name thing. This is not a some people thing. This is my thing, and I support it. And and I'm with you. And that's what we saw. And then Costa Rica came after, and that was another great, great success. And we'll see. But, but that's what we're seeing. That's so awesome that the Palau team is continuing to invest in Latin America, and. Brother Palau was so loved here by so many people yeah. and and now a new generation has come Amen. but I believe that in our day we will see just as great a harvest and even a greater harvest yeah. that the evangelists of the past only dreamed of. Mm -hmm. I think the greatest harvest of souls in history will happen in just the next few years. Amen. Amen. And I believe that God will raise up an army of yes. evangelists all over Latin that's America yeah, that will have a heart for evangelism, a heart for reaching that's people. Yeah. And uh, so I'm, I'm so excited about what you're doing. Thank I pray you. for God to give you wisdom you. to bring the right people alongside to help. And uh, what would you say to evangelists? Maybe someone is listening, they, they're in Latin America, and they want to get connected oh, yeah. to the g &E. How can they get connected to the Latin American expression of the g &E? Yeah. Um, you should come on board. I mean, we all need to be together. We need community, and we make a great emphasis in community, having relationship with people 
alike that has the same challenges but also the, the, the similar uh, strength and and and, uh, and and abilities and the unique you can share with them and they understand what you're thinking what you're going through so come on board we are trying to go to every country and just raise an army uh, there a, a network there where you can feel uh, good and you can just uh, maximize your efforts for the kingdom website www.nge palau Dot org, uh, social media at NGE Palau, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, uh, and when you go to the website, go to a place called Community NGE, and you can just fill a form. It's quick, is is fast, and you can uh, know where the others, uh, the other ones are. Just get connected, get in touch, and get in touch with us, so we can serve you best. Uh, don't waste this opportunity to be part of what God is doing, and we are so blessed with this. Well, Brother Jonah, thank you so much for being on the Evangelism Podcast. Thank you. It's so great to have you uh, together. And it's so good to be here in Bogota, Colombia together. And uh, I'm excited to see what God will do raising up evangelists here in Latin America. Thank God you, bless you. It was an honor. Thank you, brother. Are you called by God to be an evangelist? Do you want to lead millions of people to Jesus? Do you desire to be trained in the practical side of building a ministry? Then check out the Daniel King School of Evangelism. Learn how to be an effective evangelist from Dr. Daniel King's 20 plus years of experience. Daniel King has done crusades all over the world in over 70 nations and has seen over 2 million people give their lives to Jesus. But it wasn't easy. There was no crusade school. So Daniel traveled the world, learning from and observing top evangelists, noticing how they successfully won souls for Christ. Now he wants to share decades of knowledge and experience with you. Topics of the Daniel King School of Evangelism include what is an evangelist, how to be a master soul winner, how to give an altar call, how to organize a crusade, how to raise money for your ministry, and much more. If you want to be an evangelist but don't know where to start, the Daniel King School of Evangelism is for you. Enroll today in the School of Evangelism by going to danielkingministries.com slash evangelism. Thanks so much for listening today. I am excited about telling people about Jesus, and I want to invite you to be a part of helping us to rescue people from hell and take them with us to heaven. There's two things you can do to help. First of all, can you go find the Evangelism Podcast on Apple iTunes and leave us a positive review? By giving a review, you will help other people find these valuable resources about sharing our faith. And second, would you become a financial partner with King Ministries? Every single dollar that people give us enables us to lead at least one person to Jesus. And so that means for only one dollar, you can help start a party in heaven. And so today, I want to invite you to become a monthly partner. You can start out for just a dollar, but if God puts it on your heart to do more, of course you can do more. But please go to kingministries.com and become a monthly partner with us today to help us to lead more people to Jesus. Thank you so much, and God bless you. For more information about how to share your faith or to financially support our worldwide evangelistic outreaches, visit kingministries.com. Again, that's kingministries.com.